to Bob we're on day three yep. for breakfast. Well, actually, it's day two breakfast, right? It's second breakfast. Yeah, second breakfast. Day three. Day three. Chris, I see you're chopping veggies again. Yes. Finely diced onion That's and green good. peppers. That's really finely diced. Day three of the four exploring trip along the northern rim of the Grand Canyon on the Arizona Strip started with a hearty breakfast of sausage and egg pinwheels. Oh, you can smell it. Another yummy breakfast from Bob and the crew that did not disappoint. We spent the night at Twin Point Overlook with the most spectacular views. Check out my day one and two videos. There are links in the description below. Day three's journey was leading us to Kelly Point for another night of camping along the northern rim of the Grand Canyon. The road to Kelly Point leads to amazing views, but the road is only for those with the fortitude to withstand four to five hours of bouncing around in your 4x4 vehicle. It is one of the roughest and slowest roads in the National Parachute Monument. Right before the rough road began, we made a pit stop at the Waring Ranch, a remote homestead and ranch established by Jonathan Dale Waring in 1925. The site has cabins, corrals, fence lines, water tanks, and two holding ponds. Cattle ranching back in the day was the main economic activity for settlers in this remote arid land. Jonathan Waring grew up in New York State, however he admired Teddy Roosevelt and the men of the Rough Riders. Waring was intrigued by the cowboys, miners, hunters, and gamblers, so he headed west to Phoenix. Later his adventures led him to the Arizona Strip via Grand Gulch Mine. Something about the Strip called to him and he began acquiring government land. Preston Nutter, an Arizona Strip cattle baron, was a rival of Waring's. Both ran cattle at the same time and both believed they owned a certain parcel of land at the rim of the Grand Canyon. When Nutter built a fence around the contested parcel, Waring retaliated by burning it down. Later, ironically, Waring was drafted into the U.S. Army to serve during World War I. He ended up in the Argonne Forest Trenches in France, fighting the largest offensive in the United States military history. He later returned to the Arizona Strip to acquire more land and cattle, eventually selling his land to the National Park Service. The Waring Ranch is now a historic national monument. Back into our Jeeps, it was time for the bouncy four to five hours to our next stop, Kelly Point with the most amazing views of the northern rim of the Grand Canyon. Then Bob and his crew whipped up some Hungarian goulash while Mary baked us some tasty beer bread. What are you making, Mary? I'm making beer Make bread. Work for the rest beer of bread. Beer bread. Have you ever made beer bread at home? No, I've never made beer bread at home. Well, it's really simple. You mix up all the dry ingredients ahead of time. Right. Cooking tip for Mary. Oh. And then all you gotta do is add, I did a double batch, so you add two bottles of beer. And we like to use dark beer. Ours. Gives it a little multi flavor. I got two bottles in. It's all mixed. Uh -huh. And then a little later we put butter on top, right? And so the beef got roasted. Oh, our garage smells so good. Did you taste any? I did. I did. It was good. And then that's in the sauce. That we froze, right? And then we're gonna just kind of flash cook some of the vegetables, and then we'll put all that in and let it simmer. It's called Hungarian goulash. Hungarian goulash. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Hungarian goulash. Oh my gosh! Hope everybody likes carrots and onions and meat. All right, come over me first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy cow.
Wow, that's, yeah, don't, that's too much. Take that back. <laughs> she's, she's, she's good. Good. Go. And then wow. there's bread and sour cream over yeah, by Mary. A little, little squeeze of sour cream on the top makes everything better. Oh, it's a little crumbly. And that's hot. It's beer bread. It's crunchy on the bottom. The night was topped off with hot fudge brownie and ice cream. Yelp. Yelp. Thank you. Ooh. Who's next in line? Uh, guys, get your plates. Desserts. All right, come on. There we go. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mary. Sorry. There we go. Thank you very much. Ooh. There we go. Go by Chris. Get your ice cream. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for next week, where I share day four on the northern rim of the Grand Canyon for the most spectacular view yet. For more Jeep Life with Jeep Mama, head over to my blog at jeepmama.com.